Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 16. Again the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, cause at Yerushalayim to know at her abominations, and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah unto Yerushalayim, Your birth and your nativity is of the land of Canaan. Your father was an Emori, and your mother a Chiti. And as for your nativity, in the day you were born, your navel was not cut, neither were you washed in water to supple you. You were not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pitied you to do any of these unto you, to have compassion upon you, but you were cast out in the open field to the loathing of your person in the day that you were born. And when I passed by you and saw you polluted in your own blood, I said unto you when you were in your blood, Live, yea, I said unto you, When you were in your blood, live. I have caused you to multiply as the bud of the field, and you have increased and waxen great, and you are come to excellent ornaments. Your breasts are fashioned, and your hair is grown, whereas you were naked and bare. Now when I passed by you and looked upon you, behold, your time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over you and covered your nakedness. Yea, I swore unto you and entered into a covenant with you, says Adonai Yahuwah, and you became mine. Then washed I you with water. Yea, I throughly washed away your blood from you, and I anointed you with oil. I clothed you also with broidered work, and shod you with badger's skin. And I girded you about with fine linen, and I covered you with silk. I decked you also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon your hands, and a chain on your neck, and I put a jewel on your forehead, and earrings in your ears, and a beautiful crown upon your head. Thus were you decked with gold and silver, and your raiment was of fine linen and silk and broidered work. You did eat fine flour and honey and oil, and you were exceeding beautiful, and you prospered into a kingdom. And your renown went forth among the heathen for your beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness which I had put upon you says Adonai Yahuwah. But you trusted in your own beauty and played the harlot because of your renown and poured out at your fornications on everyone that passed by. His it was. And of your garments you did take and decked your high places with diverse colors and played the harlot thereupon. The like things shall not come, neither shall it be so. You have also taken your fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given you, and made to yourself images of men, and committed whoredom with them. And took at your broidered garments and covered them, 
and you have set my oil and my incense before them. My meat also which I gave you, fine flour and oil and honey, wherewith I fed you, you have sent, rather even set it before them for a sweet savor. And thus it was, says Adonai Yahuwah, Moreover, you have taken at your sons and at your daughters, whom you have borne unto me. And these have you sacrificed unto them to be devoured. Is this of your whoredoms a small matter, that you have slain at my children, and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them? And in eth all your abominations and your whoredoms, you have not remembered eth the days of your youth, when you were naked and bare, and were polluted in your blood. And it came to pass after all your wickedness, Woe, woe unto you, says Adonai Yahuwah. And that you have also built unto you an eminent place, and have made you a high place in every street. You have built your high place at every head of the way, and have made at your beauty to be abhorred, and have opened at your feet to everyone that passed by, and hath multiplied your whoredoms. You have also committed fornication with the Mitzrim, your neighbors, great of flesh, and have increased at your whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over you and have diminished your ordinary food and delivered you unto the will of them that hate you, the daughters of the Palishtim, which are ashamed of your lewd way. You've played the whore also with Ash Sharim, because you were unsatiable. Yea, you have played the harlot with them, and yet could not be satisfied. You have moreover multiplied at your fornication in the land of Canaan, unto Kazdima, and yet you were not satisfied herewith. How weak is your heart, says Adonai Yahuwah, seeing you do at all these things, the work of an imperious, whorish woman, in that you build your eminent place in the head of every way and make your high place in every street and have not been as a harlot, in that you scorn higher, but as a woman that breaks wedlock, which takes eth strangers instead of her man. And they give gifts to all whores, but you give at your gifts to all your lovers, and hire them, that they may come unto you on every side for your whoredom. And the contrary is in you from other women in your whoredoms, whereas none follows you to commit whoredoms, and in that you give a reward and no reward is given unto you. Therefore you are contrary. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of Yahuwah. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Because your filthiness was poured out, and your nakedness discovered through your whoredoms with your lovers, and with all the idols of your abominations, and by the blood of your children, 
which you did give unto them. Behold, therefore I will gather eth all your lovers with whom you have taken pleasure, and eth all them that you have loved, with all them that you have hated. I will even gather them round about against you, and will discover your nakedness unto them, that they may see eth all your nakedness. And I will judge you as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give you blood in fury and jealousy. And I will also give you into their hand. And they shall throw down your eminent place. And shall break down your high places. They shall strip you also of your clothes. And shall take your fair jewels. And leave you naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against you, and they shall stone you with stones and thrust you through with their swords. And they shall burn your houses with fire and execute judgments upon you in the sight of many women. And I will cause you to cease from playing the harlot. And you also shall give no hire any more. So will I make my fury toward you to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from you, and I will be quiet, and will be no more angry. Because you have not remembered at the days of your youth, but have fretted me in all these things, behold, Therefore I also will recompense you way upon your head, says Adonai Yahuwah. And you shall not commit at this lewdness above all your abominations. Behold, everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb against you, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. You are your mother's daughter that loathes her man and her children, and you are the sister of your sisters which loathed their men and their children. Your mother was a chiti, and your father an emori, and your elder sister is Shomoron, she and her daughters that dwell at your left hand, and your younger sister that dwells at your right hand is Chidam and her daughters. Yet have you not walked after their ways, nor done after their abominations? But as if that were a very little thing, you were corrupted more than they in all your ways. As I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, Chidam, your sister, has not done. She nor her daughters, as you have done, you and your daughters. Behold, this was the iniquity of your sister, Chidam, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. Neither has Shomoron committed half of your sins. But you have multiplied at your abominations more than they, and have justified at your sisters in all your abominations which you have done. You also which have judged your sisters Bear your own shame for your sins that you have committed more abominable than they. They are more righteous than you. Yea, be you confounded also and bear your shame in that you have justified your sisters. When I shall bring again at their captivity, at the captivity of Chidam and her daughters, and at the captivity of Shomoron and her daughters, 
Then will I bring again the captivity of your captives in the midst of them, that you may bear your own shame and may be confounded in all that you have done, in that you are a comfort unto them. When your sisters, Chedam and her daughters, shall return to their former estate, and Shomoron and her daughters shall return to their former estate, then you and your daughters shall return to your former estate. For your sister Chidam was not mentioned by your mouth in the day of your pride, before your wickedness was discovered, as at the time of your reproach of the daughters of Aram, and all that are round about her, the daughters of the Palish theme, which despise you round about. You have borne at your lewdness and at your abominations, says Yahuwah. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I will even deal with you as you have done, which have despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember eth my covenant with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish unto you an everlasting covenant. Then you shall remember your ways and be ashamed when you shall receive your sisters, your elder and your younger. And I will give them unto you for daughters but not by your covenant. And I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. That you may remember and be confounded and never open your mouth any more because of your shame when I am pacified toward you for all that you have done, says Adonai Yahuwah.